Music producers, Curtis King of SlapExperts.com, and today we are going to cover what are some elements of the perfect beat battle beat. I wish I would have known y'all wanted this content years ago because I had this ready for you, but I just thought only four people would watch. But since you've been highly requesting it, let's talk about it. Music producers, what makes the perfect beat battle beat? I don't wanna to get too scientific with this, but I do wanna break down some things that I at least keep in mind when I'm creating the perfect beat battle beat. Now, obviously there's no such thing as the perfect beat, but I do think that there's some elements that not only the beats I have made for beat battles, because I've been competing in beat battles since almost 2008, which at this recording is like 12 years. I've seen pretty much every single type of beat battle beat you could hear, but sometimes you get surprised and somebody throws you a hey, maker and you're like yo fam chill out that being said i have seven basic elements that i think makes up the perfect beat battle beat let's talk about that now one of the first elements of the perfect beat battle beat has got to be familiarity aka is there something that is recognizable within your beat now for me that's sampling obviously you know i go sample heavy when it comes to beat battle beats but i try to find elements that even when it's a beat that's not necessarily a sample or a recognizable melody i try to put elements like things from memes or things from old vines come on, come on, come on, come on. things just that pop culture most people know about especially within hip-hop culture i try my best to add these little elements in it so that people are like i know what that is what you gonna do with that you want to have that familiarity because it at least draws the audience in now many producers have been doing so many battles online so the audience is obviously those that are commenting are watching it on a replay so that is the audience that you are basically trying to get the attention of so it pays any beat battle that you have seen throughout history has had to pull out something out the back pocket that has a little bit of recognizable features on it whether it's a tv theme whether it's a popular song that gets flipped i've done this many a times there's really no rules to it you just want to try to find an element that's going to make somebody say wait a minute i know what that is and then flip it into something completely your own and bring them into your own world <laughs> The second element of the perfect beat battle beat, unexpected drops and creative transitions. I didn't understand this until I met a guy named DiBiase. DiBiase is probably one of the most legendary beat battlers that you have ever come across and he should be somebody that anybody who's in beat battling should study but his historic beat battles and i've battled him more than a few times but his historic beat battles taught me so many valuable lessons because i never beat him <laughs> i never beat him and i learned so many things through battling him one of which being you gotta have some creative drops and transitions now he's obviously a major fan of dilla dilla's known for doing sort of those hard mutes where the entire beat goes silent and then you hear one one sound effect comes in and it just kind of like takes you by surprise and you're like wait a minute wait wait wait, what is that and then you'll take a vocal over the top to really accentuate the aggression of the beat or really the attitude of the beat these are some of the creative drops now the creative transitions i've seen this man take a ghostbuster sample and flip it into three different ways within a one minute span so it's very important that you understand first of all your time limit but then also what you're capable of doing you'd be surprised what you can accomplish in a minute if you listen to some of my beats in these beat battles you know that i accomplish a lot of transitions a lot of drops i don't try to go too heavy on it but you want to do things that just make it memorable because people don't have a replay button to go back to in a beat battle they're judging it off face value so when they hear something they're like yo whoa wait a minute yeah, where did that go? There's a beat that I had called Murderer, where it goes from like this typical hard trap beat and then it goes into like some super, super jazzy gospel chords and claps and all kind of craziness. Murderer!
why it's important to have those transitions because it makes it more memorable. It makes it to the point where your competition is looking at it and saying, okay, what do I have for that? Because you just turned one minute into an album. And that's the approach with that. The third element of a perfect beat battle beat, man, you gotta have banging drums. I don't even know if I need to explain this, but you gotta have banging drums. You gotta have drums that come through very clear, snares that are hella crispy, kicks that are kicking you in the chest, make you lose your voice. You gotta have all that. The 808s, you gotta have a low end. Now, obviously there's gonna be people out there who are gonna be like, no, no, you know, not every beat needs to have that. In beat battle beats, it's making sure that you got drums that just smack. And everybody has a different interpretation of knocking drums, but you wanna make sure that it's something that comes through clear. Now, for those of you that are battling, say, on IG Live, and you're not having a direct input into the actual sound, you wanna make sure that you pay attention to certain elements like your 808s. I did some research and it says that the bass frequency, you won't really hear through your phone unless it's 60 hertz and up. So you wanna make sure that the mid of your 808 is kinda coming out, the slides are something that are accentuated, but them heavy subs, unless you got your phone on top of your desk and it's vibrating the entire phone, they really won't get that unless they're listening in headphones. But even then, obviously the audio is downplayed a little bit. So it's important that you find not only something that is a good mix for your speakers and your headphones, but something that's gonna come through clear on the phone. If you can find a way to do a sound test straight through your phone, even if that means getting on live, playing a beat and going back to it and listening from that live and saying, okay, I wanna tweak this. This can come up a little bit more. More, there's an entirely different mixing approach when you know that you're battling on IG Live. So of course, pay attention to how banging your drums are. The fourth element of the perfect beat battle beat you gotta have some aggression. It's gotta be some aggression in there. And some people may disagree. There have been beats where some people have found a way to use some bright melodies and then try to bring in some very poppy or up-tempo drums and they've won a round or two. But I've never heard any music listener say the words, yo, this beat is way too hard. Why would they say that? Because nobody ever says, that beat is way too hard. I don't know what to do with it. I can't listen to it, that's way too hard. That doesn't even sound like a critique anybody in their right mind would come up with, especially not a judge of a beat battle or the general audience. So aggression to me is the way to go, especially in a beat battle, which is supposed to be confrontational. No matter how friendly you, you, you may be with your competitor, it's supposed to be confrontational. So in what ways can you make the beat more aggressive? Obviously through the drums, through utilization of reverb, through the utilization of space, through the utilization of mixing certain elements so that they kick through, but also when your instrument choices for those of you that are making original beats. I try to choose sounds that are kind of analog in their nature because they cut through the mix and it's something that when you hear it, it has a certain stank and attitude about it. So you may want to dedicate, if you're getting prepared for a beat battle, dedicate an entire day to just finding sounds that evoke an emotion out of you, right? Or putting together layers that evoke an emotion out of you. Very important. This leads us to our fifth element of the perfect beat battle beat emotional based mixing. This is gonna be a little bit controversial for those engineers that out there that watch these videos because a lot of people feel like, and it's actually funny because a lot of rappers kind of feel this way too when they watch beat battles, but they're like, <sighs> Those beats, first of all, don't sound like something anybody would rap over, but well, that's not the purpose because it's a beat battle, sir. And then they'll say, secondly, those beats are clipping. They're loud, they're 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 all, they're this and that. In beat battles, what I have found is that a perfect mix compared to an emotional mix. And when I say emotional mix, I mean saying that you are not allowing the limitations of your meter, the rules, I'm looking around for anybody who's in here setting rules, rules of mixing, those go out the door. Now there's some obvious rules in terms of we wanna make sure you can actually hear the sounds, but you don't want to be handcuffed to them to the point where it loses the emotion that you intended when you had that beat knocking. There's a reason why that bass came through the way it did. There's a reason why that synthesizer is sitting over the top of all those sounds. There's a reason why that sample, even though you ripped it off of YouTube, there's a reason why those highs are piercing the way that they do. These are elements that make us feel something, even if we hate it and or love it. These are the elements that actually get a reaction from us. So don't be afraid to do an emotional mix. And then also if you want to A-B split test that, say with a mix that is more clean and pristine and more traditional in the eyes of an engineer, do it. But look at the one that's actually driving some emotion out of you. And that is probably the best one to go for in a beat battle. Now I'm not gonna say probably, that is the one to go for a beat battle. Number six, perfect element of a beat battle beat. Do not forget you're in a beat battle. When you're in a beat battle and you know your competitor, like say you're not competing in one of these 
major beat battles where there's like 16 competitors that could possibly be your first round. If you know who you battling, make your beat battle beats personalized. Find a way to take an element of your competitor and flip it right before their eyes. This works for two reasons. One, there's the unexpected nature that they're looking at and they're saying, oh my God, you just flipped something of mine. How could you do that? Oh, what is going on? Takes them off the game. And then secondly, the audience that recognizes the element that you flip, they also feel a certain way where they're like, oh, well, you got something for him? And so it puts the other competitor, it puts their back against the wall in which they have to figure out some kind of an answer or retort, or you're just gonna lose that round. So it helps to have a personalized approach as you're making these beats personalized for your competitor. Game, I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not looking good for you. And I kind of feel like all this energy is for a reason. But after this, you may be crying in your car, but it's nice because you got a Mercedes. It might be something that you recognize. I never liked it, but I felt like I had to flip it better. <laughs> and the last number seven element of the perfect beat battle beat, this is gonna sound like it's so melodramatic, but you gotta have a definitive ending. If you know how long your rounds are going to be, it is supremely important for you to make sure that your beats right on that one minute mark, if the beat battle was one minute per round, on that one minute mark, you end with a stamp. This is part of the experience of the listener as they're going through all these transitions, these crazy drops, this aggression, this sound selection, all these different things. For you to put that last stamp on the beat says, yes, and I meant every word of it even though there's not words in a beat battle, but you get what I'm saying. You meant every sound that you put there. That definitive stamp says, your turn. That definitive stamp says, I know what I did. You're welcome. That definitive stamp says, oh, you were intentional with every single element of it. And I feel like that has a psychological effect on the audience as they're listening because they're like, yo, what did I just experience? All in all, what I really want you to do is make sure that you're creating music that is based out of your emotion. That is an extension of your emotion, an extension of your personality. Everybody is not an aggressive, loud mouth, crazy haired, black Einstein looking head ass like me. But please make your music be an extension of you. Because if it can be an extension of you, if it can be another side of you, it is no different than when you see an athlete that is like real chill when they talk to him in interviews, and then they get on that court and he's a beast. That's what we want of you. We want to see what is the beast version of you. Even if you're the most laid back person in the world, find the elements that do that. One of the most important characteristics and I guess I probably could have added, let's call this a bonus, is the power of contrast. If you are a laid back producer, a laid back individual, you find a laid back sample, but you're able to contrast that with some aggressive drums, some aggressive drops, some aggressive transitions. Look at this! One contradiction eating another! You're Scotch Korean, and Starburst is a solid, yet you see like a liquid! Contradictions taste good. These are the elements to help you win. These are the elements to me of the perfect beat battle beat. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this music production, Producer content, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button, of course. Don't forget that. Make sure you hit the notification button so that you can get a heads up of the things going on. Subscribe to the channel. Be a part of the uh notification game. Hey, 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 doodle. In this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Once again, it's Curtis King of SlapExperts.com. Have a good one. And go win that battle. Look up, Nazi. Say cheese. Hmm. <sighs>